Hi, and welcome to another video in the Malakan series. Uh, today, I want to talk about Live Skies, which is uh, uh, Rock's new online broadcasting system, which uses HTML5. Now, to broadcast uh, onto Live Skies, you need um, a piece of software that will capture your Malakan Sky image and then upload it to HTML5 uh, to the Live Skies network. Now there are a couple of uh, software packages that do that, but in this video I'm going to talk about uh, SplitCam. So in all processes, what we, what we will do is we'll get, uh, you'll get your Malakam Sky working. So let's just let's do that. Uh, now I haven't got a camera connected, but I can restart Malakam Sky. There we go. So normally you'd get your, your software up and running. And connect it to your to your camera and, and your uh, under computer control uh, with the telescope. So um, at this point, you're ready to capture this this image. Now, um, I'm going to be using, and I'll just just minimize this. I'm going to be using uh, the latest version of SplitCam because it has uh, a very nice. Uh, and let's call it application to to make connecting very very easy. So I'm going to start split cam. Now all of these uh, split cam and, and other modern um, uh, let's say uh, capture uh, software like OBS uh, they now work on this concept of a project or a scene and what happens is you're basically attaching a video and audio to your stream now for live skies all we really need to do is just attach a uh, a video because live skies itself will um, request the microphone anyway so let's have a look so this is my project now in, in split cam now one of the things you should always do uh, and again it depends on your computer i'm just going to go to the settings just make sure your settings are as high as, as your system can support so i'm going 1920 times uh, 1080 now I'm going to go to my media and I'm going to add uh, a, a media device and for us which is going to be nice one of the nice features is using something called a share window right now you can capture the screen and, and that whole process but I'm just, when you pick a share window what it does it looks at all the windows that are open and one of them is of course Malachem Sky now the advantage of this is when I add that and you'll see there's my Malakam Sky and it's actually live right so as if I go over here and I can I can change things if I resize my Malakam Sky window it will just always present that window inside this this area rather than capturing a portion of this of the screen now um, I've got a microphone attached to it but I don't not really worried about that but that's all we need to do a split cam you basically say hey this is what I would like to capture either the full screen or an application program so Malcolm Sky is running split cam is running and capturing the Malcolm Sky so all we need to do now is go to live sky so let me just start Chrome there we go and in Chrome I actually have live skies as a as a fast button so here we go when you get to live skies uh, you probably already have an account and if you don't don't forget to sign up for the account and rock will uh, approve it and uh, send that uh, approval to your email address just make sure that you're using the same uh, login and channel name here we go now uh, just to let you know if you if you're not going to broadcast you can scroll down and it tells you if there are any channels actually broadcasting and again at this time there isn't any so let's go up I'm going to log in and it's going to use my world observatory it's pretty smart because it remembers I'm just going to log in and there we go now it's trying so here's the actual window right but it's it's sitting there saying okay this is my video source that I want to use uh, my <laughs> built-in webcam so all you have to do here is Let's just stop it so you can get an idea. So it says stop. So um, 
this is just a snapshot of what it what was last broadcasting. So on my video source, all you do is you scroll down and it says out. Oh, it sees a split cam. So you, you select split cam. And then you choose your audio source. In this case, I'm using my microphone. Um, and so it will, uh, so Live Skies will send the video image at this quality from split cam and the uh, audio from my microphone. And once I, as you can see, it's already connected. Once I select this, it, it connects automatically. It says it's, it's up and running. And you can see this is actually, I'm actually broadcasting right now. I've got a live chat. I can sit there and say, uh, hi everyone. I can spell correctly. There we go. And it's presenting this. And this is exactly uh, what people are seeing. And uh, one of the things that you can do with Chrome is you can resize. So this is the nice size that I have, and I'm use I've zoomed in, and I'm at about 150. But if I go to 300, there we go. It makes the window bigger, right? But it, and it puts chat on underneath, live chat underneath. Now again, it's up to you for your preferences. Um, I. I kind of like for my system the size of my monitor at about one at 50 ish or so like, like that so, so we'll get a get a nice size that works so you've got you've got your window and you see your chat now I've only got one monitor here and uh, usually that monitor I, I want to be controlling uh, my cam sky so what I normally would do in this case is I would actually reduce the size of my um, uh, live skies. So again, I still have I still have the ability to chat and see what I'm working with. And over here on my Malikam sky, I'll just bring it over and I'll just slide it over here. Oh, there we go. And therefore, I've got both of them, both of them working. Right, and it's, it's a thing of real estate. Ideally, you'll have two monitors. One monitor will have uh, Malikam Sky, and the other monitor will have your um, live skies, where you've got you can see what you're broadcasting, and you can look at all the chats that are taking 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 place. Okay, so once you've finished uh, broadcasting, all you need to do is stop live skies. Simple as that. You can then, um, if you need to, close down Live Skies. Go, go to Split Cam, right, which is still, you remember, it's still broadcasting on Split Cam, and you can shut that down. And then you can go and shut down Malin Cam Sky. So hopefully, this video was useful. It's very, very simple. You to just to summarize, you start Malin Cam Sky. You start split cam. You have split cam capture Malikam Sky, and you tell live. Then you tell Live Skies to use split cam and the microphone of choice, and to start broadcasting. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you ever lose, if it seems to freeze, just refresh your Chrome, and it will reconnect, and everything should be up to par. So again, thank you for watching, and clear skies.